Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to choose a mode of exercise. And that could be for yourself or for your clients or patients or whoever you're working with. Um, so when it comes to choosing what type of exercise, I've gotten this question so many times from so many people is, um, what is the best type of exercise where I'm going to get the greatest benefit? Um, so really people are asking, should I be doing more cardio? Should I be doing more lifting? Um, should I be running or doing the elliptical or, you know, people are trying to understand how to choose what mode of exercise. Um, now, the answer is not really that simple. Um, if we could choose an absolute winner, that would mean the mode that would have the greatest impact on preventing and treating disease in a population. Um, now, we could argue that would probably be cardiovascular exercise would probably have the greatest effect and prevent and treat the greatest amount of chronic disease and population wide. Now, within cardiovascular exercise, we could debate which forms are better or worse. Um, so it's hard to actually nail down an absolute winner for the type of exercise that somebody should be doing. So really what we should be asking is for this individual, what is the relative winner for this person? So, you know, we could debate what the absolute winner is, but I would argue that <laughs> there really isn't one. It'd be impossible to come up with the one thing that is best for everybody. So relative winners would be a mode that, mo that people are most likely to do and the mode that most closely meets an individual's goals. So I have always given the advice when asked that question that somebody should do the thing they're most likely to do and keep doing. So the thing that they enjoy the most, um, maybe it's the most easy or accessible to them based on what they have access to um, or what they have time for. Like maybe you don't have time to drive to the gym every day and maybe you're not gonna do it because you don't have as much time versus something you could maybe do at home where it would take less time because there's no traveling and, and locker rooms and all of that. Um, or maybe it's the thing that their friends are also doing. So they get the social benefits of seeing their friends, or maybe they like going to the gym and seeing their gym friends. Um, so I have always advised people to pick whatever mode is the thing that they are most likely to keep doing, um, whatever it is that they're going to do regularly and keep doing. Um, and then Besides that, like maybe there are lots of things that that meet that qualification, um, then do whatever most closely meets your goals or whatever most closely meets the client's goals. So depending on your goal, different modes of exercise are going to be better at achieving that goal. Um, so if you want to be stronger, you need to lift, um, you know, cardiovascular exercise is not going to make you stronger. Um, if you want to have you know, healthier heart and cardiovascular system, then you're going to want to do more cardiovascular exercise. Um, so you want to do the thing that's going to meet your goals the most closely. If you're training for a marathon, you shouldn't be doing that by cycling and swimming. You should be running because running is going to most closely help you meet your goals. Um, so which mode of exercise is best? There isn't an objective answer to that that applies to everyone. It is individual. It is relative to the person, what they're going to keep doing in the long term, um, and what is going to help them specifically meet their goals. Okay, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.